Coming up on opening day here on Friday, June 15th at Falcon Park. Double Day's hosting the Muck Dogs. Another behind the stash. I'm Drew Carter, and we've got Jimmy Talbot here. Jimmy, how are you? Good. How are you doing? Pretty good, man. So you might notice that this is the first time we're not actually at Falcon Park, and that's because we are at the Talbot residence, throwing a little party here before the season. Yep. Uh, every year for the last, I want to say, three or four years, mm -hmm. we've done a preseason uh, holiday party. Uh, just invite people, not just from the Double Days, but from the city of Auburn, mm -hmm. and just kind of celebrate the start of a new season. So this is not the only time that people from the Double Days are going to be here at this Talbot house, because you guys host a ton of players, right? Yeah, we house uh, four guys. Mm -hmm. This is going to be our 13th season, yeah. hosting them, and, you know, it's always a blast. Mm -hmm. So who are some of your favorite players that have ever stayed here? Ooh, uh, there's a few of them. Mm -hmm. Obviously... Uh, for those of you familiar with the Washington Nationals uh, roster, Andrew Stevenson uh, has recently been up and down. Mm -hmm. He stayed here yeah. uh, for a short period of time, unfortunately got hurt, but as you can probably see, he uh, rebounded and uh, he's up with the big nets. Stevenson, yes! He did it! Andrew Stevenson saves the game! Another one is uh, Ryan Ripken, the son of Cal Ripken. Dane Donning, another one. Yeah. Uh, he was a uh, first round pick, fortunately was traded mm -hmm. to the Chicago White Sox. Speaking of family lineage of famous baseball characters and people who are in this house actually, you have a dog who is related to someone very famous, right? I guess, I guess you could say that. For those of you who are big baseball movie enthusiasts, uh, The Sandlot features a uh, Lexington Mastiff by the name of Hercules. His actual real life name is Gunner, and his great great granddaughter uh, happens to be one of our mastiffs that we mm -hmm. have here. Uh, her name's Pink, and uh, just turned seven uh, in May. So you guys might think you know how big those dogs are from watching the movie, but seeing them up close and personal, I am telling you, they're running the Belmont Stakes today. These dogs could run yeah. in that race. They are a massive. Oh, yeah. How big are they? Like 150, 200? Uh, Pink, Pink. Uh, at one point, she was over 205. Oh, my gosh. And then now... she went on Weight Watchers, right? <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, then the vet. Because uh, Mastiffs have, a, I would say, sensitive joints, but uh, they shouldn't have all that weight on right. their joints because, yeah. you know, we let Pink up and downstairs. And Nelson, who just turned a year, uh, he's at 175, and he's only going to get bigger. So, <laughs> and just because... And, the fact that they're big, they're really friendly. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, they're awesome. Pink. Hey. Aww. All right, Jimmy, we'll wrap it up on this. You're kind of known around Falcon Park for having lots of different allegiances when it comes to sports. You don't just like teams from one area. Who are your favorite sports teams in all of sports? You can go any sport. Uh, baseball, it's, I mean, I'm originally from Georgia. Mm -hmm. So obviously Braves are the first that come to mind. Uh, the Red Sox are another one just because uh, both them and the Braves were in Boston at one point. Mm -hmm. And the fact that we, they kind of have a history, not necessarily as a one organization, but history in one city. Yeah. And college football would probably be my second all-time favorite sport. And, you know, being from Georgia, there's only one team you root for, and that's the Georgia Bulldogs. Right. Coming off a heartbreaking loss to Alabama, but we'll be back and uh, ready to take down Alabama. All right, Jimmy. Jimmy Talbot, Falcon Park, be there June 15th. Double Day's hosting the Muck Dogs. Thanks, buddy. Yep, no problem.